the science of anti-aging doesn't have to be complicated and expensive or does it no it doesn't aging is natural process that happens to everyone everyone must undergo aging but it can be slowed down which means it can be controlled so definitely the way we age depends on how well we take care of our body hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a while it's been ages i'm so sorry i've not been consistent lately i promise to keep dropping videos every week i promise to be consistent now so for that radiant good looking young youthful skin that you want to achieve then keep watching subscribe now and press the bell icon before we dive into it properly we need to understand what is age we have two type of age we have the chronological age and we have the biological age now i'm going to browse for it so that we can understand the difference between chronological age and the biological age now it reads it says chronological age is the amount of time that elapsed from birth to giving date and is the main way of divining age biological aging occurs as a person gradually accumulates damages to various cells which means we have chronological age and we have biological age chronological age is your real age like for example saying I'm, I'm i'm 27 years old i'm 30 years old i'm 35 years old that is your chronological age for your biological age it is determined based on the amount of damages that has happened to your cells which means our biological age can be controlled but chronological age cannot be controlled and it cannot be reversed so now today we are talking more about our biological age because our biological age actually defines how we look on the outside more than how we age you understand so it's it depends on how we look on the outside like oh you look younger than your age or you look older than your age that is the biological aging not the chronological aging because chronological aging cannot be reversed but biological aging can be controlled and it can be reversed now for this number one point on this list is use of sunscreen since the most proven way to look younger than your age is to avoid exposure to sunscreen to sunlight rather because of the ultraviolet ray from sunlight definitely sunscreen has to be our best friend because one sunscreen has this hydrating ingredient that helps to hydrate the skin and also sunscreen helps to protect the skin from damage especially the skin cells from damage because the skin cells has a dna and once there is too much exposure of ultraviolet ray from the sun on this dna of the skin cell it alters the skin cells dna and once this dna is altered definitely there must be mutation and genetic defects like premature aging wrinkle photosensitivity and cancer of the skin number two on the list is hydration now this hydration we are going to divide it into three we have warm water we have the second one to be coffee and the third one to be alcohol let me start with water water helps to keep the body hydrated and refreshed and it helps to maintain the skin elasticity especially drinking water first thing in the morning it helps to eliminate the thousand out of the body and the skin cells is not an exception definitely drinking water first thing in the morning helps to eliminate both the toxin in the body and from the skin cells and it helps to keep the skin hydrated and look so refreshed now we've gotten to another point which is coffee under hydration coffee is very good for the body coffee has this antioxidant ingredient in fact according to research coffee serves as antidepressant but too much of everything is bad so coffee is not an exception coffee has caffeine as an ingredient in it too much of caffeine in the body constricts the blood vessel once the blood vessel is constricted 
it will prevent it will inhibit the blood vessel from transporting antioxidants and nutrients to the skin and once the skin is deprived of these nutrients and antioxidant agents then the skin starts looks so wrinkled dry and to have this dull looking like it will look so dull now the third under hydration is alcohol alcohol has this dehydrating agent in fact alcohol is diuretic what is diuretic diuretic agent is an agent or is a substance or is anything when you say something is diuretic it means anything that actually increases the passage of water and nutrients out of the body most especially water out of the body so alcohol has this diuretic and dehydrating agent in it so too much of alcohol in the body system keeps the skin dry scaly wrinkled and dull looking and also due to the fact that alcohol actually increases the increases the flow out of water from the body and from the skin cells it keeps the skin so dry and wrinkled the third on the list is sleep skin is the largest body organ skin actually slows down when we sleep just like metabolism does but when we sleep there is increased production of dna and dna is like a furniture to building a healthy looking skin also when we sleep there is increased production of melatonin don't get it confused melatonin is different from melanin melanin is skin pigment that gives coloration to the skin but melatonin is an omni so it is when we sleep at night that there is increased production of this melatonin and what this melatonin does to our body is that because it's an hormone so what it does to our body is that it rapidly triggers enzymes that helps to to repair the oxidative damage that has happened to our skin during the day due to the exposure to uva and uvb rays from sunlight pollution and other environmental stressors so this melatonin increases when we sleep and this is the main reason why we need to sleep we need to have that our eight hour sleep so that our skin can actually our body can actually produce more of melatonin and dna and it can help to repair regenerate our skin so the fourth on the list now is washing of face before going to bed our skin actually secretes sebum Sebum is like an oily waxy substance secreted by our skin pores and this sebum can actually build up. In fact, those that are suffering from acne or dull skin, build up of this sebum could actually be the contributing factor or the main factor that leads to such skin reaction. Leaving makeup or, any, or leaving your face without being washed before sleeping can actually lead to like store up of impurities on the skin and it will prevent the skin from looking refreshed also it will prevent it from the process of regeneration that our skin goes through at night when we sleep washing our face before sleeping can also help to make the body look so refreshed the face look so refreshed brighten and also maintain the level of ph of the skin now the fifth on the list is rubbing of ice water mainly on the face those that are close to me actually knows that i rub ice water on my face like three or four times in a week yes we cannot reverse the process of aging but we can actually control it so applying ice water on the face can actually help to control the process of aging and by doing this it helps to increase the blood supply to the face and also it helps to tighten the skin pores once the skin pores is tightened then it will prevent debris or other bugs in from entering into the skin with this it helps to reduce this wrinkle 
or the fine lines on the face it helps to reduce it and the person tends to look younger than his or her age so that's all for this video i hope you find it useful please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up thank you